G'day everyone. Wanted to talk to you about a microphone that I've just been sent. Now it's from a company called Cinco, and it's actually this here. So this is the company that sent this to me. Um, I'm, I always use the boom mics, and I'm actually using one above me now. And the one that I'm using above me is the it's the Sennheiser MKA 600 that I'm using at the moment, and I love that microphone. Uh, but I have just been sent this because they asked me if I'd check it out. Uh, and I'm really happy with the results, but you know, you can make your own opinion when you check the sound between uh, both of these. At the moment, we're coming through the Sennheiser, um, and eventually I'll change over to this. I just didn't put it on because I wanted to show you what's what it looks like and what's uh, in the case and things like that. Um, the thing with myself is I am a fusion and also a YouTuber, so for me, I'm not a full-on videographer, so I'm going to come about this um, sort of talk today and description about how I use it. Uh, it may be different, obviously, than if you're a full-on filmmaker, so we have to take it from that regards. Like I said, I do love using it. I've got the mic at the moment on a boom that's sort of out just out of arm's way up here. Um, and I really like working that way. Uh, both of these mics are uh, the 48 um, Phantom Power, Volt Phantom Power. Um, so I'm going to have the same settings for both of the mics and see how that sort of balances out when I do a test of how this goes. But before we look at some of the specs and things, what this mic has, uh, and then I'll change it over to the mic so I can be talking through that. Uh, let me show you what's in this little case. So it is a nice little case that it comes in. So inside it, we've just got uh, the manual. Um, this is the microphone itself. Now it does feel really nicely made. It feels equally as good as what my Sennheiser feels. Um, really nice, solid brass apparently. There's also a little foam cover uh, here as well. Uh, there's XLR cables, it's only short, but I think that's a good thing because if you are attaching it to your computer, uh, it's not very long. I've already purchased long ones because I do use a boom sometimes uh, and things like that. And you get the little adapter to connect to uh, obviously a boom pole or something like that that I'll show you how to use a little bit later and how I work it. Um, so like I said, I do use things a little bit different. I mostly use the mics when I'm doing weddings and I'll interview the groom uh, with a boom mic. Uh, and that's where I'll use this for. Uh, like I said, I'm using one now, uh, and they're the areas that I use it. And sometimes if I want to connect it to the, ca uh, the camera and do stuff on the camera, I can use something like this uh, Saramonic, and the Saramonic has uh, your two XLR outputs at the back, so I can go that way if I want to attach the camera to this and then have that mic sitting on top. Or I could go this way if I want to and have the H6, which has your XLR inputs built on the side, so I can connect directly to that. So you do have to understand that this doesn't have batteries in it, uh, unlike the Sennheiser, which does. Uh, so you do need to be using your um, phantom power uh, to control this microphone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to that mic, uh, and then I'll do the rest of the review with the Sennheiser on. Oh, before I do that, I'll just show you how I attach it uh, to the boom pole. So I've got the boom pole here. Now you can then just screw this onto the pole itself. Now I did find that it's incredibly hard to put in when you first get this, so it is really quite hard. Uh, you sort of really have to force it to get it in, so it's a bit tight. But it may only be like that at the beginning and it may loosen up a little bit over time, I'm not sure, but it was quite tight. So this is how I'll usually do this uh, with, I have a long cable that I attach and it'll be attached either usually to this, the H6, um, and then I'll stand back and uh, my assistant would be holding the boom pole over near the groom or the bride when I'm doing the interviews and that's how I will do the interviews for say something like a bride. Uh, like I said at the moment it's just attached to a boom pole that's sitting over the top of the computer. So that's how that works. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll attach it now that I've showed you that uh, up to the boom pole above me and we'll continue the rest from there. Okay so I've just switched over to the um, Synco mic. Uh, this was the mic that I was using before. Like I said, it's the Sennheiser MKE 600. Um, a really nice microphone as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how you can compare the sound. It might be good if you use headphones actually to uh, get the true um, characteristics of the sound that's on here. Um, so what we can do first, let's start by doing a silence test. Now I have got an air conditioner up in the ceiling up here. It's quite hot here today, so the air conditioner is on. So I will go quiet for a couple of seconds to see how quiet this uh, microphone is. 
So I decided to also do a test with the air conditioner off just so you get a comparison with that on and off. Um, the birds are still singing outside though so I don't know if they'll be on the uh, audio. Now what I want to do now is because sometimes in interviews, um, you know, my, like my subjects do move around a little bit, I'm going to go from side to side so you can sort of see what it's like as I move from side to side. So what I'm doing is I'm talking now directly in front and now I'm going right off to the side. So let's hear how this goes when I go right off the side. Uh, we'll go over here to see how this goes when I go right over this side as well. So that'll give you an idea about how uh, the audio goes from uh, one point to another. Like I said, I'm not a tech guy with audio so I'm not going to be using the terms that a, a audio engineer would use I'm just doing exactly how I would use it or talk about it being a fusion photographer like I said I'm not a videographer uh, but what I'll do now let's I'll try and walk around a little bit like I'll walk right up to the side and talk let's see sort of how that rejects the audio that's from the side I'll even go from behind so I'll talk about it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand right back here uh, so let's sort of hear how this sounds. There probably will be echo now. I'm not sure how it will go. Uh, and I'm going to now walk over to the side. So I'm now right at the side of it, obviously off the frame. So you can't see it here at all. And now I'm going to be moving right around to the back. So now I'm just standing probably a metre behind the microphone. So it'll give you an idea about how it sounds from that uh, aspect. Um, so it'll be interesting. I'm interested in myself to see how that went. Um, that gives you an idea about how that works overall. Okay, so let's look at the uh, specifications of this uh, and I'll show you some separate slides as we go along. Um, it is a hypercardioid pattern and I'll show some other slides of these as well. It's got a solid brass body, if you look down there, extremely low self noise. It's got the ultra flat frequency response and it is a three pin XLR connector. Uh, the performance parameters if you look down there, so the element at the back is a back electret condenser. The, uh, it's a hypercardioid uh, polar pattern. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 hertz. The base is built in, sensitivity is minus 32 dB. Output performance is 450 ohms. Maximum input, the SPL is 130 dB. Signal to noise ratio is 80 dB. The dynamic range is 117 dB and the power requirements are 48 volt DC. The weight is 165 grams and the body dimension is 9.84 inches. So you can see here that the, this uh, mic actually has a hypercardioid polar pattern. Now that's meant to uh, help with interference technology. Uh, and it says there that the uh, mic D2 has a longer recording distance. It's got 29 dB high sensitivity and it has an arc pickup at the uh, front of the microphone uh, that's meant to ensure excellent sound pickup effect. You can see from this slide that it is a full brass body uh, and it obviously has the black uh, coating uh, around it which is really nice. So the mic itself uh, has extremely low self noise uh, and it's uh, got a signal to noise ratio of 72 dB and it says there that the mic can also when it's transferring the audio uh, reduce the background noise as well. It also is an XLR connector and they're gold plated which uh, gives you a really good signal. And lastly, it does have wide applications. Obviously, you could use it in things like broadcasting, audio acquisition, media, uh, and weddings, which is where I use it for things like church and outdoor events, etc. Um, and it seems like it's really well made. Like I said, if, if you compare it to how my Sennheiser is built, this thing look, feels like it's just it's built just as well. I suppose the difference between the two is this does has a, have a battery in it. Uh, so what we'll do now, we'll have a listen uh, to the two side by side. So I'll just change them. Uh, we'll listen to um, the Synco first, and then we'll listen to the Sennheiser. Uh, and you can compare the sound, because I'd love to know what you think about uh, how each microphone sounds. So I do suggest that you you put a uh, pair of headphones on. This is a test of the Synco Mic D2 shotgun mic. I'm testing the quality of the audio. The mic is one meter away from me on a boom pole. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a test of the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun mic. I'm testing the quality of the audio. The mic is one meter away from me on a boom pole. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, so what did you think about that? Um, 
when I listen to it back myself, I actually think I prefer the sounds of the of the Cinco. Uh, but that's my hearing, and I suppose it's subjective. That's that's what I'd love to know about your opinion about this. Uh, I think the Cinco sounded really good, but that's me. Other people may listen to it and think that the Sennheiser uh, sounds better. So it'll, I'll be curious to know what you guys think. It is very very well made. Uh, it comes with that great carrying case, um, and I can't wait to use it out on the road. So stay tuned because you'll probably see me use it in some other videos uh, in the near future. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will leave the link uh, so you can um, purchase it if you want to purchase it through that link. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, that's all for now, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.